Hello and welcome back to our newsletter series. This is actually video 11, but I'm not going to start off on the whiteboard that we've been using. In this very short video, I'm actually here in ChatGPT because we've been recommending AI software. It's going to save you a lot of time and do a very, very good job for you. But we also understand that some people are on a budget and need to do this with zero money down. And if that's the case, then ChatGPT may be your answer. I'm here in ChatGPT, but you notice it looks a little different because what I'm using is the AI PRM ChatGPT prompts tool. This is the website. I'll put the link down in the description and from the website here, you can go and install the Chrome extension. And when you have that active, then your ChatGPT will also look like this. You can go through the website and you can see that it's got tons and tons of useful pre-written prompts where all you need to do is put in a little bit of the information and it will be able to use the pre-built prompt and give you an output. Now we recommend these other tools that we, you've already saw, seen in the video series and I'll put those down in the description as well because professionals have made those. They've written the prompts that run behind the scenes using language models such as ChatGPT. But as I said, not everyone's got the money in order to do that. So this works really simply. You install the Chrome extension, it's completely free. You select the prompt that you want and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then you just put in a little bit of the prompt yourself, some of the specific information, you create the content and then you can use it. They do have a premium plan, um, but you don't have to use that. So as I said, I'm in here, ChatGPT. I'm in uh, 3.5 at the moment. This is what everything looks like. So you start off with a big list. You can see we've got 4,337 prompts as of the time I'm filming this. You might actually have more when it comes to you looking at this. And all I'm gonna do is go to the search bar. I'm gonna put in newsletter because that's what we're creating. And as you can see straight away, I've got these three that I can pick from. Uh, you can see you've got some details such as how many times it's been seen and um, comments and likes and you can even share it via link as well. So what we'll do is we'll go for this one here. It's the um, oldest in terms of when it was put up and it's been seen quite a few times. So I'm just going to click on this one. And then as you can see down here, you're able to put some information. So this is what is required, the company name and the topic. So you just fill in your company name, comma, about and then you put in the topic you want to write about this one down here is pretty similar this is the uh, next one in terms of age and again this one all you need to do is put what the newsletter is about this one's quite cool it's a newsletter summarizer so if you have a longer newsletter and then you want to summarize it for a midweek edition so people who missed your longer newsletter you want to give them sort of a summary then you can put uh, your newsletter in and it will give you the main bullet point. So if I want to create a um, high quality newsletter, then all I need to do is pick what I want that newsletter to be about, put it down here, and then it will allow me to change some of these settings. I don't get that many because I'm not on the premium plan, but if you were on the premium plan, you get a lot more choice, but as you can see, they've got a huge number of languages that you can pick from. And then I just put in my information about what my newsletter should be based on. So as you can see, I put my prompt in here. I'm just going to imagine that I am a realtor or I'm putting together a real estate newsletter. And this newsletter is going to be a deep dive. It's going to be not a curated one. And this is the information that I'm going to give it. And ChatGPT will go ahead using the AI PRM prompt. And as you can see, I've got the subject for my email newsletter. And then I've got the email here, newsletter being written, and even the sign off as well. So check the link in the description if you want to use this. And we'll be back on Monday with our next episode. Until then, we'll see you in the next one.